It's once again time for a long-standing TG tradition at this point, complaining about the worst of the worst players we've ever experienced playing with. Just saw in your life, or times you were that guy. I think I'll share a shower run at the end, so I will. From your recent game? No, it wasn't from my recent game. This was uh, this was one I played IRL. Do you remember that uh, guy with the purple hair? I'll tell that story, so okay. I'll... Okay, I'll tell that one at the end, but okay. let's get into this, will we? Once in on all of my games... Hates anything that isn't D&D or Western Europe, but wants to join anyways. Won't actually read the rules or fluff of the game. Pedally holds things up because my metagaming, e.g. he's the guy who's always saying during first session that his character doesn't know the others well enough to want to travel with them. Oh, why are you being so difficult, mate? Quits within the first month. Bitches about these games for months or years after. For fuck's sake, we're both 29 years old, man. We'd probably just cut them off, but we get along great when we're doing car stuff or cards games. And I'm afraid he's going to rope. God. Yeah. Talks about a lot of psychopomps and souls, but then 180s and starts in with late 2000s fedora rants about how religion is stupid, etc. I feel like I know this person. I feel like I've met everybody knows this yeah, person. Yeah, I've met this person so many times. It's a good archetype of a human being. Yeah. Or it's a good archetype of a. Just general. Person to stay away from. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Player looks up OP builds for every game we play. Pesters players who just want to play for fun about switching to a stronger build. Wants all the game's info early to try and find exploits. Ignores build rules and gets super salty about having to make his character the right way. Wants to be better than every other player at the table. Wants to be the star of the game but has nothing in or out of character to deserve the attention. Keeps saying... There should be a non-combat option, yet jumps into combat at the drop of a hat. I mean, there's always a non-combat <laughs> option. If you really want to, there is yeah, always there an is. option. Gets mad when his actions of being a murdering, stealing dickbag comes back around. Begs for extra damage because I was aiming for the eyes. <laughs> I hold the dagger <laughs> like this. Or I think this should kill him in one shot. He's always borderline overreaching, dips in and out, and is very excited to play whatever we're running. But goddamn, sometimes it's not worth it. Yeah, some, yeah. sometimes like it is. It's just like, oh, mate, why are you, why are you getting on like this? Yeah. Guy, like, man, please, just play nice. Yeah. Just play nice, you know? Like, I don't mind people that want to par game. Like, I don't mind people that want to play their character to the okay, yeah. full extent that they possibly can. And they really want to min-max that. But it's as long as it's within the game. Yeah, and, like, the only big problem... And is, if the DM allows it. Yeah, if the DM's cool with it. The only problem I think it really comes into an issue is if it's only the one person in the group that is very much overpowered. And yeah. everyone else is, like, not... is Maybe <laughs> yeah. half their power yeah. level. And then it's very hard to build encounters that are yeah. actually fun for everyone want to enjoy you yeah. know dm is that guy that's the worst type of that guy <laughs> yeah the, the DM. <laughs> there's no there's no like oh, I mean, just, just, player, just eat him at least with the players like just get rid of him just get the dm the, it's like oh. <sighs> literally everything is some cringe ass anime reference literally adds a la carte a la carte, a la carte. A la carte. it's I, I actually know this anime so do you megan oh i actually know this one yeah Wait. <laughs> not that bad <laughs> but i actually joking? do know that one i do know that one Okay, so literally adds Alucard, the abridged version, as a DM player character to the game. Wee! Every story segment is a blatant rip-off of some other piece of media. Has Strad straight up quote the Sith code. <laughs> <laughs> Every time we deviate from his real road, we mysteriously run into random guards who are level 20 because they're elite guards. <laughs> This person was, I, think like this. I don't know. This person was obviously eventually booted from our play group and we made our own campaign. But my god, was it awful to sit through. You know, I wanna know how long it went on for. Yeah, how long you did know, you sit and take like, this? You shit? know, to be honest, I, no, I'm not even gonna try and justify any of this shit. See, this is yeah. what we do, we try and justify people's shit. Yeah. But then we just realise, no, oh, no, people just, are shit. Yeah, people are just shit. <laughs> you know, I was talking to some fellow about this uh, not that long ago. Was Some fellow was sending me about like, you know, how great communism is and all that shit to us. And I just got to the point where I was like... Was it Tommy? No, it wasn't actually Tommy. <laughs> but I got to the point where you just don't think it's good because you think people are shit. I'm like, yeah, yes, I do think people are shit. How yes. can you tell? <laughs> you know, bit of a side tangent, but, you know, let's keep going, will we? We all agree to play on Friday. 
Ask Guy if he's free on Friday. Doesn't respond until session time the next day, which is Friday. What the fuck, man? Already not showing up on her first session. Tells me how I'm in. I how I'm an impatient fuck. Okay. Tells how his friend Luke always waits for him when he's late. I'm not gonna fucking stop no. the game just for you, boy. Especially if it's first session. I know. If it's first session, do you need campaign? Show just up show up on time. And if you're not gonna be able to show up on time for the first game, don't join the game. Yep. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Calls me a shit DM because I have basic standards. <laughs> Leaves the game. Like, Good. You, like, you dodged Good. him. You dodged, dodged bullet, mate. Fucking bullet. You dodged bullet, mate. Don't don't complain about fucking that. Be happy. Hell. You know, I've got this quite a few times where people they get all upset whenever like you know we've done quite a few of these stories and there's like oh yeah this guy's horrible and he's always leaked to the game. It's like look, just start the game anyway and yeah, just, just have to it. you know like, you're get you're getting the good part. Like if then. they're not there within like 10, 15 minutes, I'd be like right mm, okay that's it. I'd see because normally. 10.50, especially when it's, whenever it's, it's online. If it's online, people are just chatting time for a wee bit. I think 15 minutes is a good wee way. Yeah. Like, I, I, I don't mind us personally, but... Be me. DM. Be not me. Kobold faggot, or Kobo fag for short. Never knew Kobo fag's actual age. Only know that it was below drinking age in his country. It was an online game. But in hindsight, I assume he's 16 at most, but probably less than that. Kobo Fag thinks randomness and kobolds are peak comedy and kek. (laughs) (laughs) Thinks being random and chaotic at the table for no reason is fucking hilarious. His friends enables his behaviour because he also thinks it's peak (laughs) kek. You know what word I fucking hate? Kek. I know, I'm not a fan of kek either. I think think it's one of those words that it should have died. It's like epic. Yeah, it should have died years ago, but people insist on... Is it ro- ro- Roloff or... Oh, I can't remember. You know, like... LMA Roffle? Up. Yeah, all, all them words should have just died. Died like, in, like, like, 2010. Like, I'm sorry, but Keck shouldn't have made it past 2006. Yeah. All right? It shouldn't have made it past Woke Classic. All right? <laughs> yes. Second Burning Crusade came out. <laughs> Keck should have been gone. All right? Constantly tries to metagame to do the funnies. Ugh. Always kept bugging me to permit him to use OP homebrew artifice or shit. No. <laughs> Literally never takes the game or his character seriously. Never any actual attempts at comedy. Always haha <laughs> cobbled funny. Uh, yeah, but you know, like this is what happens when you play with kids. kids they exactly. don't know the difference. They 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 think that's funny. They think that's peak comedy. I know. You know, you're asking for like, you know, I'm sure you play play with some some kids, but Yeah. No, it's not something I would personally want to. Always tries to bullshit his way into knowing shit he shouldn't know. Metagaming. Just an all-round insufferable teenager. I'm so fucking glad I stopped running that game. I hope that guy grows up and realises how cringe he was being. Like, well, l- what... and tell me whenever you were 16 you weren't fucking cringe. Yeah. I know I was. I, I was I was hyper cringe. I don't think 16. I stopped being cringe until I was about... Until I met you, about 19? Yeah, I 18, think about, 19. Yeah, about 18, 19. And even and then, then even I'm then still kind of cringe. Like, I'm so still, are I'm, you? Like, I'm, I'm cringe to this fucking day. <laughs> All right, boys, I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm fucking cringe, you okay? Are, you are cringe. <laughs> Sometimes we go out and we talk to, like, we have to go do adult things because, you know, guys, yeah. we're adult. And James is standing beside me and he says some shit, and I can feel my liver tensing up yeah. because I'm cringing that hard. Yeah. Look, it's one of those ones. I don't know. I, I don't think I'm ever going to get it. Maybe I'm just cringe. It's not a phase, Megan. No, it's not a phase. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a phase, Mom. I'm yeah. just cringe. <laughs> hey, guys. Do you like models in your tabletop role playing games? Because we do too. Do you like having big bitty waifus on your table? Because we do too. <laughs> <laughs> We got human biddies, we got lizard biddies, we got orc biddies, oni biddies, cat bussies. We've got everything you want at neckbeardia.co.uk. <laughs> Check the links down below, it helps us out a lot. Sorry for interrupting the video, let's get on with the story. Star Wars Saga Edition. Guy knows the system inside and out. Min Max builds a crime lord character. He's fairly good at shitting. Players make constant, light-hearted jokes about how bad he is at shitting. He starts complaining about how his character is actually well built and great at shooting if nobody else is in melee. What? I have no idea. Like I, I don't know. I don't know. The, I don't know the. the I don't know the Star rules. Wars system. I, I, I don't know it. I've only played. I, no, I have. I played Age, Age, Edge of the Empire once, yeah. and that was it. So, in a party of five, two Jedi, a melee-based battle droid, and a ranged battle droid get to about level eight, and we get into a big fight with a Sith Inquisitor. 
That guy spends the entire fight bitching about how I'm not terrible at combat, but I can only shoot well if nobody's in melee combat. How does that work? It, it, there's probably some form of like modifier where like you know it's just, you need it. You, it's harder to hit someone whenever like, they're in combat. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Why don't you just take the feat that's been available since level two that lets you shoot into melee with no penalties? Super offended tone. I'm not wasting a feet on that. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry to say, but that sounds like a pretty. It, it seems necessary. It sounds like for, a good feat for you, if <laughs> especially if there, there's a melee it, based like if, battle droid. So it, they're going to be constantly a melee. Yeah, it feels like you, you're just going to have to take that one yeah, if you want your build to, to work. On that it's either that. It. Yeah, like don't get me wrong. I I don't like taking feats. No. I, I I'm one for like no. I want the stat improvement. Yeah, like, to get me to get me to go. I would only 20. take a feat if I if I have. Like, yeah. Have to. Or I just play a, a very human and yeah. call it a day. That's that's what I yeah. do. I piss on the lava to put it out. <laughs> I don't <laughs> I think that works. No, I piss on the guy's corpse. <laughs> I drank too much, so I take my dick out and... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> the kid was like 15, but he should have known better. I didn't allow him to any of those times, telling him to grow up and pretend he's actually a part of the world. On the last one, I told him if he did it again, I'd kick him immediately and he cut it out. Look, all I'm saying is... See, if someone goes to piss on something and you're not in the mid for it, you just use control water, right? And the, and the PP screen goes right up, back, back up, yeah? Reverse. <laughs> so reverse that shit back up. Had another one who got super mad at me because I took a few days to make a potion shop. He also made a bondage-based character, and a character literally named... Warsaw. 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 While trying to slip the pack magic slash sorcery points exploit past me. And he was a sexist retard. Good riddance. Heard his dad died recently and he didn't recall it. (laughs) And he didn't react at all. He's either hiding, which is sad, or a sociopath. Which is probably based on my experience with the guy. I I have no words. (laughs) How do people find these? How do you find these people? (laughs) Look, Megan, it's more common than not. Let's be serious. They're all American. Yeah, like I'm, 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 I'm sorry. Amer- right Americans there. are fucking weird, okay? <laughs> fucking crazy. See, 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 every time we're reading any of these stories, I don't assume them to be like English, French, German. German um, I whatever don't even, else. I don't even imagine them to be Australian a lot of the time. No, it's always American. <laughs> it has to be American <laughs> has for to me. Be. And that's why, like, you know, like, America's just a bit of a crazy place, you know? Yeah, like 90% of the crazies in the world live in America. Yeah. Why do you think all the serial killers come from there? They're yeah, all fucking and, crazy. And, like, come on here, like, let's be serious. I know it's an OV's meme, I know it's a bit dead at this point, but Florida Man is a real <laughs> meme, right? Like, Florida Man isn't just based in Florida, it's yeah, all over. <laughs> like, I'm just putting that out there, guys, okay? Party looking over a pit of lava, 90 foot down and 500 feet across. Need to get to a small island on the other side. Tiefling Cleric declares he will just cast Water Walk. Huh. Since, oh, I don't, oh, <laughs> since it says he can walk on lava. Oh, right. DM says, you will die if you do this. You, you, like, lava's really fucking hot. Yeah. Like, you don't need to touch it. You, you can't even get close to lava. I, I think know. a lot of people forget this. It's like a, think of like a bonfire. Yeah. You cannot get that close to your bonfire, bonfire. without your face starting to melt, melt off. off. Yeah. You don't need to actually physically be touching the fire. Yeah. Or the lava. For it to burn you. Yeah. But it specifically says walk on lava and I'm fire resistant as a tiefling. Um, Dude, oh. if you do that, you will die. Well, I'm willing to give it a try. The tiefling cleric lowers himself on the hempen rope, which catches fire. <laughs> he drops down and takes 10d10 fire damage. He's resistant, so it only takes 32. Player continues walking, saying that the lava must have splashed up when he landed, but that it won't happen again. Walks 30 feet, takes 10d10 fire damage, and fucking dies. <laughs> what the fuck? That's so unfair. Like, when the DM breaks character to tell you this idea will kill you, why do idiots always press on <laughs> I've, I've, like, well, yeah, that is. That's a really valid point. Yeah. Like, you know, sometimes DMs are like, no. Well, you're gonna die. You, you will die. Like, I'm just, just putting that out there. You know? Like, I'm gonna it. do it! <laughs> sure, you do you, man. You do you. <laughs> yeah. I suppose it was a teeth then, so no real. No, nothing, no loss. Nothing of any value was lost. <laughs> so, you know, that's good. I'm DMing a group of kids. Most of them are pretty good role players for first timers. And then there's one kid. Is stupidly cruel to random blacksmith shopper who has been very nice to the party. Other players are looking at him uncomfortably, telling him it's time to go. Blacksmith tells him to leave, that he won't do business with him anymore. Player looks at me and squints. 
how much do you value your life? Is that to me or the blacksmith? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh shit. Yeah. All right, okay. Blacksmith calls the guards who rough up that guy a bit. A session later, they go to the general store. Shopkeeper offers a discount if he can copy Wizard's spellbook. That guy asks why he doesn't get a discount. You're a sorcerer. You don't have a spellbook. That guy squinted again. <laughs> How much do you value yeah. your life? <laughs> Shopkeeper casts whole person and has guards take him away. <laughs> you know, it's you know normally normally let's be honest with you guys. It's normally the NPCs are dickheads or the quest givers that are always dickheads yeah. in any situation. But how much do you value uh, your life? life? <laughs> I'm going to steal that one. No, actually, I won't. I'm not that bad. No, I'm, I, no, I'm not. No, but you guys could if you wanted. <laughs> Couple joins our table. Never saw two human beings hate each other so much. Of course, their characters are also in a relationship. The session always ends with them getting into an argument and one of them storming out. If that doesn't happen, they spend the rest of the session bitterly throwing snide remarks at each other. The girl stops showing up. Instead, she just calls the guy every five minutes <laughs> so they can argue through the phone. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I, 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 I don't know. How, how do these people stay Call in Call Jerry Springer. I, like, I, but seriously, who can actually... Who can just stay in a relationship like that? I have no when idea. When they actively just constantly fucking... Hit each other? Yeah. I, I couldn't... I couldn't be arsed. I've been, I'd, I'd, I've been in that situation, and Jesus Christ, I never want to be in it again. Like, are these people that are just that desperate? Probably. Yeah, you know, it's like it's that level of, oh, uh, well, if I don't, if I don't stay with them, because then... you're clutching onto straws, you're not, you're yeah. not holding on to anything worthwhile, holding on for. Leave it, and you'll probably find something ten times better. Yeah, that's a good chance of that. I don't know. I just, that's, I just that, that's a PSA for anyone yeah. out there in a shit, shitty relationship. Yeah, and I'm not saying that about every relationship. I'm talking about like just you know a shit one when you see a shit one. Yeah, but like, and I everybody think... knows that fucking couple. Oh yeah, everybody yeah, knows, everyone that couple. knows that couple. Like you're all couple. hanging out, and maybe the girl shows up, the guy shows up. Next minute, they're always fighting a bit out, and you're like, Yeah, oh my god, guys, awkwardly can you stop slip, this? sipping your drink. Going, <laughs> yeah. Can I go home? Yeah. <laughs> Hello, mom. Can you come pick me up? Oh, please. <laughs> oh look, I think we're going to end it here, but. First, I want to tell you about the story that I was that guy. Now, I don't think I was that guy because I think the DM was fucking asking for it because he was being a bit of a dickhead, you know? But this happened maybe... Oh, no, this DM was asking uh, for it. This DM was a dickhead. Um, this happened maybe three... I'm fuck to this DM. <laughs> yeah, no, he, he was he was a like, cocksucker, to be honest with you. Yeah. But anyway, anyway, so this was a while back. And uh, I show up. Uh, it's a local uh, game store. They had... I no normally the, they only play 40k. And it's, yeah. it's 40k, Age of Sigmar, bolt action, that sort, sort yeah. of stuff. There's not many people that play role playing games. No, sometimes but Magic the Gathering. But yeah, you, you, you get a few card players, but that'll be about it. Anyway, anyway, so they were having a D and D night, so I was like, "All oh, right, no, I'll show up to that." Uh, I don't. I only know the 40k players. Yeah. I don't know the D and D players. Yeah, yeah, I don't know that lot. I've never really interacted yeah. with them that much at this point. So I show up, and they've got some pre-generated characters. So I go ahead and take the Dwarf Clark, so I did. I was like, oh yeah, this seems pretty cool, you know? So we show up. The, the DM is being a bit, I don't know, he's just being a bit weird with us. I kind of felt it from the start. I don't know, maybe it's because I'm a bit of an autist myself. I don't know. Uh, I'm not good with new people, either way. So uh, we're playing away. We get to the town. Oh, actually, no, first of all, um, we run into like these three bandits. And uh, one of the bandits gets away. I can't remember what it was all about. They, yeah. they never showed up again. It wasn't wasn't really important. Yeah. Um. We go through that. We go to the town, and I'm playing a clerk. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna gobble guys. I'm gonna do a bit of preaching in the town square. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Like you know. <clears throat> so that what's going on is there is a beast that lives in the cave that's turning people to stone, which is definitely not a basilisk, but we need to work that out. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, anyway, I'm going to skip a load of shite because most of it's not important. But uh, anyway, anyway, the DM's being really fucking weird with me the entire way through and just being quite snidey and very quick. Yeah. And I just don't really have the patience for it, but I was playing with people I didn't know, and I kind of wanted to have like an RL game. Yeah. So I was, you know what I mean? I was. Was it one of your first like games? It was one of it was my first game at the place anyway. Yeah. Uh, I was I was holding my tongue throughout most of it, but the guy was just being a bit of a dick, if I be honest with you. Um. So we keep going through. Um. You could tell the guy was just not happy with me, like you know. But I just kept doing shit to fuck with him. (laughs) 
like it got to the point where I was like, you know what, I'm I, I'm not I'm not doing anything to like wind up other players, but I'll do shit just to fuck with the fuck DM. Me. You know what I mean? Like I, I I specifically was trying not to annoy the other players at one point. At one point. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, so it keeps going. Uh, we end up having to talk to some harpies. The harpies we show up at, and they just start screeching at us. And uh, we try everything. This this goes on for a good twenty minutes of us trying everything we can to try and communicate with these harpies, and all they do is screech at us. So I'm like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm away. See you guys about. And I just sat out of the game for like an hour. Yeah. I, I was just like, you know what? I'm not. He's like, car, car. It's like, no, fuck this. I got no. And do you really think a dwarf would have time for any, all these harpies <laughs> exactly. sitting screaming at your face? Like, nah, mate. See you about. Anyway, anyway, look, I'm going to get down to the nitty gritty. So we're in the bars of this cave. We don't have the shit that we need to actually kill the Basilisk because we fucked it, it was a one shot. We keep going through, eventually we find that the cave smells like eggy farts. So, you know, maybe in a dwarf. Yeah. I know that, um, is that a gas leak possibly? Yeah. Um, so, uh... <laughs> I remember. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty bad. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I turned to, I turned to, I think he was a fighter or a paladin i ask him he's like yo here mate gives it gives you we torch there because i think i had night but yeah because i'm kind of dwarf we've got night yep. vision he had the torch so i was like yeah trust me on this trust me so i just take the torch and i fuck it into the pit and uh the bard died <laughs> <laughs> everyone else made their decks <laughs> but the bard died sadly the uh the dm wasn't very happy with us no he, he kind of looked at us like we had ruined his game completely um I don't really feel that bad, to be honest with you, because <laughs> he was being a bit of a snidey and cocksucker. And this is another great example of how James is that guy. Well, look, I, I, I was... I, I, look, I, I, no, look at him no, trying no, to be I, reasonable. No, I was playing Trent. nice. I was playing nice. See if someone, <laughs> trying to reason No, no, Megan, no, you're just as bad as me. See if someone's being an unreasonable dickhead to you. I know. And they're trying to be all snidey and quick with you. Are you not going to be just as bad back to them? Yeah, no, I am. Exactly, and that's what it was like, okay? I wasn't. I, I wasn't being that guy. I was forced to be that guy. Okay. <laughs> I was. I wasn't being that guy. I was forced. To yes, be that I guy. was. I was forced to be that guy. <laughs> and like you know, like I'm sure. I'm sure your boy wasn't a bad fella. We played a few other games. Um, he wasn't always a dickhead. He was just a bit weird. And like being honest with you, I'm. I'm a, I'm a bit of a spark, and he was a bit of a spark. So it's probably like you know, two strong personalities. <laughs> Strong? Yeah, strong personalities. That's what I'm gonna call it. Maybe it doesn't they don't rub up against each other in the right way? How does that sound, guys? Okay, what, Megan? Nothing. What? Right, okay, guys. I think we're like, ready. Like, so that's 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 my story of I was openly that guy, and I was uh, just trying to be a dick. At, by, by by within the first hour of the game, yeah, I was openly just being a cocksucker, yeah, and just trying to be disruptive yeah. in character. But I was having a lot of fun, so like, yeah, that's all that matters. I don't know about the rest of the players. The bar didn't seem too upset. It was a one shot. I felt bad for him, though. But let but, us look, know. We killed, we killed the basilisk. We think we did anyway. We think you did. But the bar definitely died. And I was like, oh, shit, sorry, mom. But let us know about your own that guy stories or the times you were forced to be that, <laughs> that guy, guy down below. And while you're oh, there. Oh, I've got one about you, Megan. Whenever you got that fucking hammer and you kept knocking us all out. Like we'll talk about yeah, that yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> that time we were fucking playing, and you're like, we're in this tiny, tiny hole, hallway, and one, you've got that like Thor's hammer shit. It's like, oh yeah, let's try this shit out, and he, she just started knocking. At, okay, yeah, I'm gonna knock the fuck into the the enemies, but we're in this tiny, tight. Court. It was a mimic and something else. No, it wasn't. No, it, it was, was a, a it was star spawn. Star spawn. Yeah. Star spawn, and yeah. uh, you just kept. Okay, I'm gonna knock that out, but I'm also gonna knock out the rest of my fucking party <laughs> and members. Every time I hit it, it you just got. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so hit it again. <laughs> like I still killed them, don't worry. Like we we just about made it out of there alive. Yeah, <laughs> check the links down below. Check out the models, the t-shirts, and everything else. Um, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>